Hi guys, I'm Nick from Good Mayhem Racing. This is the next video in preparing the surfaces of metal for welding. We talked about cleaning it off with acetone, grinding the surface with a tiger disc, and now we are grinding the corners of the mill scale off. This is the after, this is the before. You can see that this still has the mill scale on there, but this is bright clean metal. I try to do it as gently as possible. This is uh, actually the same major process of tiger disking. It's just happening with a die grinder rather than your regular full-size grinder. Let me walk you through the process. This is kind of a continuous work. You're going to have the part held in place and then you're gonna spin it around with your hand like this. So get in a good position where you can stand and be comfortable. And your goal is to go through this as gently and as fast as possible. You just want to get off the mill scale. You don't want to take away any wall thickness. Barely using any force, I am just trying to Slick off that scale and that's it. Here's the next side. Now that side was a little deep. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. So you see how these are all nice and clean? Do it again. But the next tube, I am going from the metal to the edge. I'm not going from the edge to the inside. In general, that's actually the way you weld. You start from the area that has a sharp corner and go inwards. In this case, with grinding, you go the other way. You start from the, where you are most stable and you go to where you are least stable. You are least stable at this edge where you start falling off. You go the other way, you can just gouge into the metal. Let me show you what it looks like going the other way. See how I'm a lot more inconsistent with my edge? This is a lot more consistent in comparison to that. It's all because I started from that area where I was least stable. There we go, that problem is fixed. And I already did that side. Flip it over. Okay. That's good. Get some of that no scale off. All right. Um, this tube is also done. All right, I've got all six or seven of these tubes done up there. Next up is drilling holes into these so they do not outgas. Why don't we do that right quick while we're all talking and having a great afternoon? You drill into steel to prevent it from outgassing while welding. That outgas causes a lot of porosity, it ruptures a hole, makes it a pain in the butt to work with. So let's just drill some holes. Here's a punch. You can be relatively consistent, or if you, uh, I don't know, don't care. There we go. We have the center punch on all seven of our tubes. Let's drill it. High speed steel is your friend here for the drill bit. You can use coolant if you want to, but. Let it 
cool off between each one of them. if you want to. This is a little deeper tool that you can use by hand. Right there, that's it. And just twist that around the hole just to clean it up a tiny bit, just to clean up any sharp edges. Also do this one too. Great. All right. Do you hear these last two? Get all the uh, metal debris off, and now these tubes are prepped, ready for welding. The, some of these have left as cut. I don't need to do the roll cage level of fabrication on this since this is just a vanity, but there's still a lot of preparation that needs to go into it to make sure you have sound welds. This is how you can do it. I'm Nate from Good Man Racing. I will see you out in the desert, if not my garage. Like and subscribe for more.